Is it easier to write the story for a movie or the story for a video game? Hmm. I, I think writing uh, a story for a video game is, is sort of deceptively difficult uh, because a story that, that works as a movie won't necessarily work for a game. And the reason is that movies are written to be watched, games are written to be played. So you have to you know, not only tell a story, but also create a compelling experience that's going to be fun for the player to play, as opposed to for somebody else uh, to watch. Do you think the procedure has changed following various other game adaptations? Um, do I think the procedure has changed? Um, well, I, I think it's, it's sort of a new idea uh, to make films based on games. There haven't been very many of them. And uh, I, I think you know, this is something that's sort of every time you know, it's, it's done, it's uh, almost like being done for the first time. So yeah, it's evolving very fast. What was your original vision for the Prince of Persia Sands of Time film? Were you able to accomplish your objectives and stay true to your vision? Yeah, I, for me, I always uh, thought that the Prince of Persia film should be like sort of a romantic action adventure movie of the like Raiders of the Lost Ark, like uh, Thief of Baghdad, like you know those old movies that inspired me uh, to create the first game. Uh, back in the 80s, and I, th I think the film absolutely accomplishes that, and on a great epic scale, you know, that I couldn't have imagined. Do you think Prince of Persia will be a successful film based on a video game adaptation? You, you know, in, in writing the film, and I think, you know, everybody who worked on the film, we didn't really approach it as a video game f movie, but rather just as you know, an adventure film, you know, a kind of movie that's got to stand on its own merits so that even if you haven't played the games, uh, you know, this is like a, just a fun ride, a great romantic adventure that, you know, that everyone can enjoy. So, so yeah, yes, I think, uh, I mean, I, I love it and I hope that uh, audiences will too. Uh, how much have you been involved in the making of the film? Uh, I brought Prince of Persia to uh, Jerry Bruckheimer in 2004 as a pitch and uh, to try to sell him on the idea, I cut together a two-minute trailer of uh, footage from the, the game, the Sands of Time. And uh, so he, he liked it. I wrote the first few drafts of the screenplay, and I've stayed involved as an executive producer all the way through. Is this movie, for you, the most satisfying evolution of The Prince of Persia since you wrote the first game? Yeah, you know, th there have been so many great surprises and you know, rewarding moments in the last 20 years of, of seeing like how Prince of Persia has evolved, it, it's hard for me to pick a favorite. Uh, certainly, uh, The Sands of Time, uh, the 2003 game that brought the franchise back to life and that inspired this movie is one of the high points. But absolutely, seeing Prince of Persia come to the big screen in this way is, is definitely a high point. Game adaptations are usually rubbish. Why do you think this is? How did you try and ensure Prince of Persia bucked this trend? Uh, yeah. uh, not every game should be a movie, and, and the, the reason is that what's fun to play isn't necessarily fun to watch. So in adapting Prince of Persia as a movie, you know, e even though I'd written the game, Sands of Time, that the movie's based on, I sort of set that, the literal details of that story aside and tried to write a new story that would have the spirit and use a lot of um, my favorite elements from the games, but that has to really work as a movie in its own right. You have worked as a script writer for both the Sands of Time game and the upcoming movie, so it comes to mind to ask how you feel about the medium of film compared to games as a way of telling a good story. Which is more challenging for the writer, and how? You know, writing movie screenplays and writing game scripts are, they're actually really different kinds of writing. Uh, the challenge for a, a game writer is, is to write a story that's playable, where the story is experienced through playing it. And the challenge in film is to 
is to, is to use uh, the power of cinema, you know, what, what films do so well, uh, to tell a story visually and, and through the characters and, and, and through emotions. Jake Gyllenhaal got the role of the Prince of Persia. Is it a choice that you totally support, or would you have preferred a different actor? Yeah, I, I was uh, really happy when I heard that uh, Jake Gyllenhaal had been cast as the Prince. I mean, he's a great actor. He he looks a lot like the character in the game, and for me, I think he also embodies a lot of the qualities that make the Prince of Persia the kind of hero that for me he's always been. You know, he's a warrior, but he's also got this sort of mischievous quality, a certain attitude, uh, vulnerability, and, and I think you know, Jake brings those qualities. Why do you think the Prince of Persia franchise is still so strong and alive, and how do you think it will evolve in 2010? Well, um, it's, I, I never expected that the Prince of Persia, you know, franchise would last as long as it has. I mean, back in the 80s when I was making the first game, we didn't even have the word franchise. It was just a computer game. I think part of the reason it's endured so long is because it's been able to change and evolve, you know, with the technology. And, and it, it, it's also lent itself well to film and uh, graphic novels, I think, because it's a very classical, old-fashioned kind of story, but with, with a, a sort of a a kind of action that works very well in video games as well. You have contributed a lot to the game, Prince of Persia. What are some of your hopes for the movie? You know, my, my hope for the Prince of Persia movie in writing it and, and really all the way back to making the first game was that uh, this could be a movie of, of the kind that really inspired the game in the first place, like the Arabian Nights, like Thief of Baghdad, Lawrence of Arabia, and I, th I think uh, uh, the movie absolutely it, it is that kind of movie uh, that I've always loved, and and on this phenomenal epic scale, you know that Jerry Bruckheimer, that only Jerry Bruckheimer can do. So I'm um, I'm very excited about it, and I hope gamers will like it too. What is the biggest difference between the video game and the movie? The, the story of Sands of Time, the video game, which is the game the movie is based on, it, it is a story that was really tailored. Uh, to be played. Uh, so uh, when, when you see the movie, if you're familiar with the game, you'll notice that the story really has a lot of the same elements but goes in a different direction. So uh, I, I would ask gamers not to kind of look for specific plot points of the game to be repeated, but just to kind of enjoy the movie uh, for what it is, a great ride that's you know, very much you know, in the Prince of Persia's Sands of Time spirit. Uh, so we have a follow-up question and also our last question for today. You have always been quite keen to talk on how video games can approach narrative and style and have explored that in your games like The Last Express as well as Prince of Persia, which are both influenced by other plat art forms. Do you think that there are any ways that the film medium can take inspiration from video games? You know, when I programmed the first Prince of Persia game on the Apple II back in the 80s, I, I was a, a film student in college at the time, and I was really keen to try to bring cinematic ideas and techniques, you know, into the Apple II. So it's been really interesting to see how games have evolved and become more cinematic over the last 20 years. And, and also, what's really interesting is that now films are now being influenced by video games, not just by the technology, but by the idea of, you know, going backwards and forwards in time, of being able to you know, replay parts of it. So I, I think it's really great, and it's great for all, all media to kind of, you know, be enriched by, by other media, and that's, uh, I think it's very cool.